That's one of them uh, German Shepherds. Lives two doors down. And there's Bo. We're at a standstill because there's a cat. Oh, there's a cat up there just across the street. So we've kind of been at a standstill. Uh, I'll take this time now to tell you it's Thursday morning, 30 degrees. Uh, and this here's Bo. We're going to walk around the block and then head out to the post office and then head into work. Got to run some other errands too, or one, yeah, two other errands on the way to work. Up to the post office, what's she looking at? She's looking at that bird. Hard to say. Yeah. Yep, this corner lot is literally her favorite poop spot in the whole world. So it's vacant right now, but I don't know what's gonna happen when it's, uh oh, let's get that. That yeah, lady up there is carrying either a dog or a cat, I can't tell. Carrying something. Um, this is where we've been. Uh, we're trying to head up to the first municipal trash can and walk it around the block, but um, we're at a standstill. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Oh. Seriously? Okay. Come on. We are making, making absolutely no progress here. <laughs> eh, Christmas tree. They'll be picking that up tomorrow, I expect. Because tomorrow, no, 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 don't take that. Tomorrow's trash day in this neighborhood. There's my, uh, good look at my back fence. I put on top of that embankment wall there. <clears throat> so it's effectively like a nine foot fence from this standpoint. Worked out pretty good. Although I lost a little chunk of land, that easement. I'm gonna try to fence that in though. So we have a little dog run. Or I can banish this dog sometimes. I wish I had it this morning, but That's the turn right there on the way to Harley's house. <clears throat> yeah, there's Harley's house. Oh, oh, oh. I guess Bo saw me. Well, once again, at the post office, and uh, you'll see Bo right there in the driver's seat. Like she doesn't even see me. Bo -bo. Bo -bo. Game changer right there. New tamales place. They probably have tacos. Cool. Yeah, I was walking from the shop back to the office trailer and then Bo ran across the path carrying a tumbleweed. Uh, we're kind of busy this morning. So we haven't done much in the way of uh, dog photography or videography, but Bo's fine. She's just uh, kind of amusing herself with the tumbleweeds. Um, we're getting some weather here. We had a little sleet earlier, but uh, it went away. So, oh, 
moon tonight, we're not going to be able to see it. It's a wolf moon, like I think I said yesterday. So, it's all right. The main thing is we got about another six hours of work and then we're out of here. Which is good. It's Bo's birth weekend, which is going to be epic. Here she comes. <laughs> well, it's Friday afternoon, three o'clock, 44 degrees and raining. Uh, I just moved the smoker to its new location. You know, obviously when I smoke, I'll have to bring it out, but at least it's kind of, uh, fits perfectly underneath this eave. Even though it's covered, it doesn't really matter that much, but for prep work and such, we're smoking up a brisket and some ribs tomorrow for Bo. So, I just moved it before I walked. She's done no exercise whatsoever today. Hey, hold on, Bo. So we're gonna take her up to the river right now. Well, we haven't been to this swimming hole in several weeks. Try to get Be uh, Bo to come on with me to the other swimming hole 1A. She didn't want to. She's too excited. So pretty sure any dead fish are um, See how high the water is? So, I think any fish now would be, it'd be safe to say that any fish have floated off at this point, so we're not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just kinda curious to see, I don't even want a swimmer here. Well, maybe I do. Let's see. Just a very little encouragement. I don't think she wants to go swimming. Now you're wondering how she stays warm, doing what she's doing right there. Golden Retriever has two coats. She has, well, they have a bottom coat. It's a nice stick. That is like a seal skin. That allows them to be water dogs. Um, and the top coat is just what you see there. And I think that's for insulation. Or, I don't know what it's for. It's for fur, I guess. So, anyway. We'll just, uh, we'll check back in a little while when I formulate my thoughts a little better yeah so that was very quick there's nothing not a whole lot to do if she's not swimming um, I think she might warm up to it once we get some miles in her uh, it's really not that she swam in this weather 44 degree weather before it's just a little different because it's raining um, now what I'm wearing is a wool socks wool gloves a wool hat, uh, a thermal, a flannel, a t-shirt, LJ's, jeans, and sort of waterproof shoes. Kind of my dog walking slash work shoes. Um, so I'm actually pretty warm, except for my fingertips. But I always try to get gloves that work with a touchscreen, but well, I tried one pair that supposedly were touchscreen compatible, and they sure as heck were not. So I gave up on that. Uh, next week, I don't want to jump the boat on this, but next week we're expecting 20-degree weather and snow, which will make swimming even colder. Um, so we'll go down and check out this riverbank here and see what's changed since Sunday, last time we've been up in here. Hey, Bo, why don't you see what's changed? Oh, I, here's what's changed. Holy cow, Bo. Check this out. Bo, Bo. <laughs> yeah, we forgot what it's like. High tide. Because of all the rains. And also the upstream dams, probably. Look at that. Ducks are still out, though. But yeah, that's a good 35 foot of beach that we um, no longer have. 
So I'm not sure how Bo's gonna... Hey, Bo, let's go to the big swimming hole. Surely there's beach there. Oh, or not. Yeah, if there's a fish down there, oh, is that not be a fish right there? No, if there's a fish down there. I'm not, not sure if I'm gonna jump in. Uh, let's try something to throw at her, or throw past her. <laughs> yeah, she's just looking for at those ducks, it looks like. It's almost like she wants to go after them, but she knows it's a long ways out, cold. So, hey, you want to move on, Bo? Yeah, come on up. Yeah. I'm not sure what she wants to do. <sighs> okay. Moving on, Bo. And it seems like it's getting a little colder and a little more rainy. Uh, yeah. Here she comes. I guess the good thing about this weather is that it's safe to say there's not going to be anybody else out here. So she can just pretty much run free. Uh, I wonder if Hank is outside. That's what she's looking for right now. Hank's that white dog. Um, yeah. Right there. This house right up there. Nope, he's not out. You'd be a damn fool to be out in this weather. I would say. <clears throat> I would also say it's better than being at work. So, yeah. Yep. See? She's looking up at Hank's house. Or she was. All right. Yeah, there. See? There's Bo right there. That's Hank's house there. And there's Bo. So, uh, hey, Bo. He's not out. Yeah, I guess to see how high this water level is. I suspicion it's about the same as well. No, there's a little beach. Um, yeah, not much. Hey, Bo, this is too swampy. Come on, let's go to that next one. Why are we looking at your butt? Why is everybody on the internet looking at your butt right now, Bo? Seriously? There you are. Yeah, I've concluded that uh, 44 feels like 34 if you're wet. I mean, I'm not wet except for my fingers, but that's enough to give me that kind of uh, wind, not wind chill, wet chill, general chill. Uh, I think tomorrow I'll wear one regular glove and then one fingerless glove to operate the camera. 
or better yet, cut the index finger off a regular set of gloves. A pair of gloves. A set would be three gloves. And that'd be silly. Whoa, look at these ducks. Okay, it's on. Yep. Well, I thought it was on. Okay, it's off. So for reference, about here is where we found that dead fish that threw in right by these rocks here. So you can see how, how high the water is. I actually like it a little better when it's high because she'll run off a little less, less bank to work with when she does her running off. Hey, Bo, I got something for you. Hey, Bo. Hey, birthday, Bo. Both birthdays in two days. So I might refer to his birthday, Bo. Going forward for the next couple days. Hey, Bo. Ready? 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 Nah. I don't think it's happening. A little bit is happening. Nothing, Bo? She's probably looking for fish. Uh, not much further to go here on this area, unless you want to wade. Um, but I'm not wading there. Okay, you're on your own. Unless you want this. Right there. Hell, you're already wet. Okay, you can just chew on that thing. I guarantee you one of these days she'll get that thing out of the ground. Oh, you want to go up there? All right, hold up. Uh, oh, there she goes. What's she doing? Bobo, come on. Bo! Yeah. I uh, lost her. <whistles> Bo! Oh, she's up on the hill. Way up there. Yeah, I better go get her. Bo! Here! Hell, she's almost in the front yard. All right. Oh, just run off. She's definitely coming back. She's running really fast. 
Going down the wrong way. Right here. Come on. <laughs> she tore down the hill. I'm not sure if I got it on video. Uh, <laughs> what happened up there, Bo? All right, come on. <laughs> uh, that's about the furthest I've seen her get away from me. Yeah, Bo, don't run off that far, okay? Yeah, I'm wearing sunglasses, which is probably not the best, so I can barely even see her all the way up on that hill. Uh, I knew she'd come back. Oh, she always does. Yeah, this is an interesting spot. We came here last Saturday and Sunday. Oh my gosh. Hey, Bo, this is your chance. Oh. Okay. Bo, they're all getting away. That's about 2,000 ducks swimming away from one, ouch, one dog. That's a fish. Hey, Bo. Enough of this. <clears throat> there you are. Oh. Uh, Bo, we just did that, remember? I have to use my commands. Oh, or not. <clears throat> That's a great stick right there. Okay, um, you wanna try to go to the volleyball pits? Or do you think that's too far? I kinda do, but we'll see what she wants to do, I guess. lost sight of her. Oh. Come on. No, don't, whatever that is, don't touch it. What is that? Yeah, it's a clump of something. Hey, Bo, come on. Don't mess with that clump. Hey, Bo. Bo, Bo. Here. Good girl. Just checking to see if she would still obey. Yeah, she does every time. It's just a matter of time.
Yeah, I think we're gonna walk up to that one bench right right before the uh, volleyball pits. I don't like taking her taking her there all the time because of all the duck or goose poop that she eats. So I can keep her a little bit shy of getting out there. And she's not really going in the water, so there's no geese to really run after. So I think that's, oh. Actually, there's geese right there. Oh, geez. All right. Whoa, whoa, here. Yeah. So what she's doing now, she's, uh, well, she's deciding whether to come back or not or just stay there and eat geese poop. Um, Bobo. Bo. 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 Here. She wants to come back, but she's just too distracted by the poop. Um, Bo Bo. Bo here. Come on. Time's a wasting. Whoops, <laughs> sorry. Come on, here. Bo, here, come on. Please come back. Come on, little buckaroo, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, good girl. Oh, here she comes. Hey, Bo, I think it stopped raining. Yeah, or let up a little bit. Huh, didn't expect that. Uh, come on, Bo, Bo, come on. All right. Come on. Yeah, I think she's looking for a place to uh, go number two. Oh, yep. Look away. Yeah, that was almost impossible to find. This is my, uh, what I'm looking at. And I'm walking around like this. And I was like, where did that dog do that thing? And then it's right there. Okay, come on. You're not going down. Come on. Oh! All right, good run. Real good run, actually. The other thing about these golden retrievers, I was teaching you about her, her coat, the two coats that they have. The other thing about them is that if they don't like you, they can just run off pretty much. You see how fast she can run? You know, it's pretty amazing 
that she even hangs with me on these walks. You think that if you're a dog, you just want to run fast like that for a long period of time. But, uh, yeah. Okay, now she's down there in the water. Oh, oh, that's a legitimate swim. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Great. This is swimming hole number two. Normally I don't let her swim on the way back because of the, um, how wet she's gonna be when she's on the couch. But since it's raining, she's wet anyway. So I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Oh, makes me she wants to fetch. No? Oh, you grabbed that stick. I thought you wanted to fetch. The other thing about this breed is they just swim on their own terms, like you just did right there. Okay, now it's really raining. Hey, Bo, drink some water and let's go. It's really raining now. Before it was only barely raining. Now it's really raining. Bo, here! Here! She's digging at now. All right. Yeah, it is really raining. Look how wet she is. Still looking at those ducks out there. That's Hank's house again. Bo, come on. Let's go. Yeah. Come on. It's like she runs off just far enough for me to have to call her back. You know? I don't know why she does that. Hey, come on. Now we gotta find a trash can for this. There's usually one right, yeah, there it is right there, okay. Just found ourselves a good piece of trash. Looks like a paper cup. We'll walk up this way anyway, because we gotta hit the trash can, I guess. What you got there, Bo? That's really interesting. I'm trying to film and stay on the path at the same time. Uh, we're gonna go to that trash can, okay, Bo? Meet me at the trash can. broken pottery. Probably not good for a pause. Hey, Bo, be, Bo, watch for that pottery, okay? No, don't, don't eat it. Bo, here, come on. Come on. Bo, Bo. All right. Well, it's about time to put it back on the leash anyway. So, yeah. Well, I think you know what happens next. The jumping around, tangling of the leash, and then the running down of the hill. Bo. Oh, oh, ah! Hold up. Oh, jump out of that. Lift that paw up. Oh, oh big mistake. Ah. Okay, come on. Yeah. Oh, Bo. Tried this. We did this a couple weeks ago. This is easier on my 
on my hips. Huh, I lost her. Bobo, come on. I'm not sure if this is good dog etiquette or bad dog etiquette. Awkward. She wants to go inside and play. Um, Bo, come on. They're quite friendly. Where'd you go? Well, as luck would have it, it's now getting a little sunny out here. But uh, anyways, I'm going to take her out on the exact same walk again. It's much lighter out and it's drying up a lot. But... Uh, Anyway, I got the uh, insulation back on this thing and uh, replaced the uh, aluminum foil on the bottom. Those are the grill plates I used. So when you grill at high temperature, you can't have the insulation. But tomorrow we're smoking brisket point. Oh, there you go. Brisket points and ribs for uh, the ribs will be for bow for Sunday. Might try a few of them. Um, but now, yeah, she's excited. So here's the uh, outlet my first outdoor outlet. I got like a 40 foot uh, extension cord, which I'll probably not use anymore, but you get a small extension cord, I guess. Anyway, it's, uh, that's about just enough shelter to shelter the smoker, so that's pretty good. Initially, I was gonna build this whole thing out to there, and then I didn't, now I regret not doing it. The sewer line is right, it's actually right here. So I figured if there's a big building over it or a, my garage is that long, maybe we're gonna have to dig that sewer line out to be a problem, but now I don't think it is, it would be a problem. So yeah, I could have had another six, six, seven foot. This transition would have been weird, but I wouldn't have cared about that. Yeah. Oh, too late now. All right, Bo, it's good enough. Better than we had before. Let's get you on that couch. <laughs>